Hello again, I am very excited to share this video. We are finally working on the construction of the trailer and this video shows the first two steps of that process. We got the trailer and start the insulation. Since we filmed that and I started editing, we actually got a little bit more done. I don't know if you can see here behind me, but that is a window right there. Next to getting out on the road, building the trailer was definitely the second most anticipated part of the gigantic project. So I'm very excited. I was able to tape out a layout on the floor and I give you a little tour of that layout. I finalized the design. And now that I did that, and I can visualize what the trailer is gonna look like. It's just very exciting. We're gonna be on the road in no time. But in the meantime, we have a lot of fun construction and design. I hope you enjoy the video, and thank you for watching Casa Nowhere. Today's the day, we're finally starting the insulation. Here is the insulation that we will be putting in. First we need to rip the plywood down, but uh, that's what we're about to do. The trailer came with these weird three square type screws, sort of like a Volkswagen. Um, but we're hoping that a filberts will take it out. And it looks like it will work. We just have to be careful not to strip them. So we lucked out, we only have to drill two of these out. Whew, thank God. How's it going? We've been fighting the weather all day, but we have managed to get the rest of the demo done here on the trailer. As you can see, all the plywood and stuff was out. We definitely had a few more problem child screws, but we did it, made it happen. And we are about to start cutting the foam board. We were thinking about just using a utility knife, but then we said, why not just try and push it through the table saw? So we'll see how that goes. Oh yeah. Another glove. Last night I finalized a new layout. When you walk in the door here to your right, that will be the desk. Straight in front of you when you walk in, there's gonna be a built-in love seat that will also pull out into an almost full-size couch or sectional. And right above it will be one window. This line here, the whole floor is gonna raise up one foot there. This little box here, that'll be a step. And then to the left will be the kitchen. I'll put the stove next to the door there. The sink is going to go right here with a window above it, which 
is nice if you can do it. And then they'll just be countertop, countertop, countertop. But then down here, this squared out part will be a couple drawers and then a small closet like the height of a long coat. This line here at the back, this is actually gonna be a wall. The plan with the wall is I'm gonna put a door, a window, and a window air conditioner in there. So I'll have a second egress. I'll have a window AC, which are very efficient, but I won't lose my stealth because uh, I'll have this false wall and where I get wherever I'm going, I can open the back doors. This area, I ordered a new double bed, a Casper. And then next to that will be the bathroom. I got a 24 by 36 inch RV shower. And then I got a nice porcelain Dometic commode that'll go around there. At this point, I'm thinking the only place I'm gonna put overhead cabinets is above the, the desk. That is the layout and it's very exciting. I feel like it feels so much more real now that I can see it kind of and visualize it. I went ahead and ordered a ton of stuff last night. I ordered the refrigerator. The refrigerator will go underneath the counter here by the kitchen. Just ordered quite a bit of things. Most of the, you know, things that you can't get at Home Depot that we will need for the rest of the project. Almost all of that is now ordered. Um, so yeah, I'll keep you posted. And I'm about to get to work on putting these insulation strips up so we can really get things rolling. If you like this and would like to help me out, please like the video, subscribe, and hit the bell notification. I think it was like Thanksgiving and somebody was asking me about like what I did with the house and stuff and I said, yeah, all my assets are liquid. And my mom said, don't drink them. <laughs>